What's the tea, everybody? Hi. It's Elena. Oh, Lada Deluxe, the tea on Fridays, because Fridays are always a drag. We're doing this look by Kahana Mantris from current episode of RuPaul Drag Race All Star Season 8. And this is the episode she was eliminated at, and the runway category was Miss whatever. She was Miss Tired Ass <laughs> Showgirl. And I love Showgirl, so there you go. We're going to be doing this. So like, subscribe, comment, and uh, follow me on social media. All the links are down below. You can find me on Painted with Raven Season 2 on Wow Presents Plus right now, available. <laughs> so let's get right into this. So we'll, the look we're doing is this, and of course this is the green look. Um, he's tired as showgirl, I guess that was her thing. <laughs> I, I love this, of course I love my showgirls. I love this whole pageant look. This is totally my aesthetic, and that's one of the reasons I chose it. And also, this is my most current look, and I've been eyeing Kahana Mondrees for a while, ever since season 8 uh, All Stars started, I'm like, I need to do Kahana. So Kahana makeup, of course, not like full impersonation, because obviously we're like two different skin tones. <laughs> but we're gonna do this beautiful green look. So let's start with the brows. I already did foundation, I did uh, a Revolution Pro after him, and that's the remains of that foundation I keep squeezing out, just trying to bend the foundation. It's probably already expired a year ago. <laughs> Oh well. Uh, I'm going to use Kimchi Shake Beauty and this is uh, 01. This is like a light blonde color. It's not a great brow pen to be honest. It's a like waxy. Probably good for somebody who has eyebrows, but it's awesome for drawing eyebrows as a sketch. Either that I would use for darker um, concealer or a contour stick. So the brow is very similar to what I usually do for my brows. It's kind of like very snatched, not overly lifted, so I'm not lifting my brows too much. So her highlight in a typical diamond shape, the way Raven does it, and I love to do it. The lightest part is here, here, a little through the nose, over the lip. Now she kind of does her chin pointy, uh, no shade, no tea, but I think she did have a chin implant because it looks very different from her old looks. She did say that she had work done, uh, but she, I don't think she mentioned chin, but her chin looks like a little, a little pointy triangle. I think it's a real cool look, actually. I love it. It looks very feminine, but it's very like obvious. It's like sticking out. So um, my chin is similar naturally, but Hers is like extra pointy, so I'm gonna try to like highlight the point so to make it look extra, you know, just a little something. I'm using ABH concealer 01. It's not white, but it's almost white. If I need extra white, I'm gonna add Kimchi. So to counter, I'm gonna use my go-to Aesthetica palette. There you go. Uh, so darkest color and then the medium. I'm using my Jessup brush for this. It's Jessup 110 face shape. I never announce those brushes anymore. No, I feel like nobody really cares what the brushes, because really they're interchangeable. So we're countering the cheeks. I noticed that she likes to round up her cheeks, like to the nose. Sometimes I see her with a real low counter, and sometimes I see her with a rounded. I think it depends on the look or something. So I think this look looks like she has a lot of blush and kind of rounded in, like very feminine. So to get the chin triangle, I'm not going to counter here. I'm just going to counter around the chin. Because it's a very, very prominent feature. Like, it's very her. So I think, I feel like I want to do this triangle. So you see, it's already kind of giving triangle. So the nose is contoured uh, from the brow, just like below the brow a little bit. I'm using the medium color from the same palette. And just going in. She doesn't seem to uh, bring the white all the way in. 
There's quite a bit of a shadow here. Also, of course, she has a little bigger nose, so that's another reason there is a shadow. And there is a pointed tip, so I'm gonna make it a little darker on the bottom around here. And once I highlight at the end, I'm going to make it a little more pointy with the powders. Just a little bit of kimchi white concealer at the very lightest points, the forehead and around the eyes. That's what it looks like from the picture. I'm looking at the picture and that's what it looks. Actually, she doesn't have any high resolution pictures on Instagram. I don't know what's the tea. Maybe somebody knows the drama or what happened. Uh, I don't know her, what her Instagram looked like lately, and but when I looked, there's only like five videos or something and like five or six posts for some reason. I mean, why so few? I don't know what happened to her. And they're mostly like, clips from a drag race and I had to zoom in and take screenshots because there's no real like pictures you know I wish I had better pictures but you know we'll go with what we have so I set myself off camera with kimchi shake uh, puff up pass powder and we go in with kimchi zero one halo contour uh actually that's zero three chocolate keep saying zero one because I did get zero one and I got this one as my birthday gift and I find this one to be a little more powdery for some reason like the texture like I love everything kimchi does but the texture of this is different from the other one and I feel like it's easier to work even though if this is a darker tone it's kind of easier to work with we're gonna do the same thing with the chin and emphasize it right angle we're gonna squeeze the brush and literally Draw the triangle. It's gonna look from weird from the side. <laughs> a drag always better be looked from the front <laughs> and not the side, as you know. Following through with a nose contour with a lighter tone. Actually, I am using this. This is Dear One Tony. And yeah, I like this color actually, Firelight. That's one of the reasons I got it. Bronzing with kimchi shake bronzer went to Miami because she's a bronzy girl and I just self tanned and in case you didn't know just <laughs> I slathered the self tanner before this video it's time to snatch the eye and I'm using blend binding that's been like my a recent go to for drag for some reason oh well, not for some reason because it's awesome but you know uh, the primal is going to be for the yellow because I want to mix the neon with yellow because hers look like a neon yellow rather than green. So I'm going to mix neon green with this and ignore my nails. My nails are ratchet. I don't feel like putting fake nails on right now. <laughs> and yes, I said right now. <laughs> it's a cat mama speak. And this one is going to be a little used for the neon and uh, also I'm using primal for the green. Oh, by the way, guys, if you're watching this tomorrow, I think this is still on sale, 50% off. Go to Blend Bunny. Uh, they're about to discontinue this sucker. I don't know why. I mean, they just don't have room for it because they're planning to release something else. And this is so awesome. So if you don't have it, snatch it because you won't find it here. Look, black, white. Look at the size of this. The yellow panned already. This is a steal, so go get yourself one. All right, so the rent is over. <laughs> so let's do the green. I mean, she has this uh, cut grease, fake cut grease, a kind of black line. I imagine I don't have a lot of time in dry grease. That's why everything looks like very fast. Um, I don't know what I would do. <laughs> I would be in trouble. So I'm just using the dark green camouflage from that very primal pal palette. And we're going to blend this immediately with another kind of a fluffy flat brush, the ones I like to use. Toxin, the really bright green. Really, really pretty. Already baked, as you can tell. So before I actually cut the crease with concealer, I'm using this black 
uh, eyeliner. It's just a soft liner. I think it's gel. No, it says wax. It doesn't matter. Just to create a black line. Extend this in the waterline immediately. This doesn't have to be neat because I'm going to smudge it with a black eyeshadow. And make sure the lines match. I'll take a tiny brush and I'll go between black and green eyeshadow from the same primer palette and I'm just going to like so just smudge it a little bit. Uh, I did the basic cut crease and now we're doing the neon. This is from Blend Body Search and I'm mixing it with yellow from Primal because it needs to be a little less green and more yellow. But I want this to really stand out, so I want it to be bright, as bright as possible. Go into the green and eventually to a darker green. So for the blush, we're using Blush Gleed by Yardi Cosmetics. Uh, her blush is kind of reddish, pinkish, and I was gonna use my usual kimchi, but I need something like this rather than, you know. So I'm gonna go with this one, it's called Sweet Pepper and maybe a little ginger and saffron to blend it out. And this is just about the right color. And a little white accents with a blend body palette. I'm just using pure white eyeshadow. The sandals is really light. The lightest spots here, here, they look like they're almost white. Could have been white there. So I think I'm gonna try a little bit of white eyeshadow. So it's time to do the lips, obviously very overlined. And the color is kind of reddish, um, like a coal berry tone. I already added the beauty mark here. There should be another one over the lip. I'm gonna do the lips first because I don't know where my lips gonna end up. <laughs> Uh, this is a BH lip liner in the color Blackberry, by the way. So for the lipstick, I'm using Alter Ego. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. I just needed something reddish but cool toned, and it's called Vanity. Alter Ego is like a brand that does dupes of other things, so I haven't used this in a long time. Is it still good? Oh, it smells kind of funny. Oh well. Yeah, it might be a little too red. I didn't say hey, I applied lashes off camera because obviously I didn't know. But I also added a lot of other things to my lips. So the color was wrong, so I put some white lipstick in the middle and put some lip gloss on top, and there we go. Well, uh, and I did the beauty mark, the second one. This is one, this is the other. And. I'm kind of feeling it. So let me try to do something with a green. I don't have any green jewelry, like none. <laughs> so I'm going to try to do something with my wig. <laughs> it is not going to look pretty. It's going to look crafty AF, but you know me. I'll be right back. And she's here, Kahana Mandris. Tired ass show girl. Well, I didn't make the sash because that's way too much work. This was a lot of work already. This is a very, very crafty version of her hair. <laughs> her hair was like designer, intricate, hair to hair, sleek and perfect. Mine is like a broomstick <laughs> and some broomstick fibers over the broom. <laughs> Something. Well, you know what I did. I pulled the wig up, tied it up all in one bun, put this crown on, and threaded the wig through the crown. <laughs> and it stuck. I'm just laughing because it's hilarious. And this actually, the pieces of, uh, yeah, and we got rudely interrupted. Mimi came here because oh, they're all hungry. They all want dinner. Mimi's in a recovery suit because she got spayed a week ago. And the girl is so energetic. She did so well, so well. <laughs> anyway. That's part of another crown that I had. It's a removable little dangly things. Look just like hers. And Mimi's been trying to snatch at them already. Of course, I mean, what do you expect, the cats? Like, I don't have any green jewelry. This is the only thing I have. And these are the Walmart uh, stick-on gems things. It's easy. You just, like, press them on. They have glue backing. And, yeah. <laughs> That's my crafty look. 
you're welcome. <laughs> I'm really happy with it. Uh, so this is her version of the makeup from her last runway before she got eliminated. I'm so proud of her, how well she's done. She almost quit, but she yet she stayed, you know. It's uh, all stars, so, you know, they're all talented, so it's just a game, pretty much. But she did amazing, I think. There's some strengths, some weaknesses, you know, everybody has, but she's very cute and I like her glam, the very showgirl style, that's very me. So let me know what you guys think. Leave me a comment below. Who is your favorite to win the All-Stars Season 8? Uh, I'm very scattered. <laughs> I have my favorites, but, you know, I'm still, like, not quite sure. So, let me know what you think. Leave me a comment, like this video, and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Uh, ring the notification bell so you get notified of all new videos I upload. So, thank you all for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next fabulous video, honey. Bye.